Smart for Two review. Before reviewing a car, I tend to read about it, watch videos about it, drive it a bit, just so I know what I'm getting myself into. But today, I'm just gonna get it and drive. This is gonna be a 100% objective review. Now first, let's start with the looks. I mean, the paint is just hilarious. I mean, it's trying so hard to be a badass when it just isn't. I mean, just look at those wheels. They're about the size of a dinner plate. It's just, the whole package is hilarious. The proportions on this thing are equally comical to the paint. I mean, look how small it is. I could take one, two, three steps, and I've traversed the entire car. And look how big the door is. It's huge. The whole damn car. The biggest gripe with the Smart 2 is safety. People think a car of this size will just get obliterated in a crash. But the exterior shell of this car is extremely strong. It can flip, get smashed into, and it'll keep the passengers safe. So you might think that since the Smart is such a small car, that the interior is equally cramped. Well, I'm happy to say that it's actually very spacious in here. I mean, sure, there's not really much movement to the seats besides forward and backward, and the steering wheel doesn't move up and down, but I can see just fine, and I got my mirror set up, and BD is happy. Well, it's not a shocker that it's well put together because it is made by Mercedes people. But one thing I don't like is the AC. It just feels plasticky, and it's kind of far away from the driver when you're driving, but everything else is pretty ergonomic. The buttons are where you think they should be, and that is awesome. Another thing that shocked me is that this thing has heated seats. I don't think a smart car had heated seats. I mean, I must admit, this is the passion trim. So it comes with this panoramic sunroof, pretty cool, and probably some other stuff that's not really that cool. It does have paddle shifters, no idea why. It's a nice little storage container for your phone. Put it in there, don't worry about it, don't text and drive kids. Club box, decently sized, has an aux cord for your music. One thing that I don't like is this shifter. It's just uh, off center and it's just weird. And next to that, you'll find the key slot. Took me about 20 minutes to find where that was the first time. It has two cup holders, which perfectly fit my white girl water bottle. I was a DJ. Before we get going, I wanted to talk about the smarts key, or I should call it the dumb key, because the lock and unlock buttons look virtually the same. So there I am, locking it and unlocking it on the street, looking like a huge idiot. And Speedy doesn't like looking like an idiot. God, that guy can talk. Now onto the interesting stuff, the driving. Here we go, first time out in a smart car. Oh my God. I don't think you just saw that, but the first gear is brutal. The second gear is pretty brutal too. Now I have read that people rip this car apart because of its transmission. And I must say, it is terrible. Absolutely awful. Let's talk about the power. Because it makes exactly this much horsepower and this much power for your torque. And that feels like nothing. <laughs> You have no idea when you should be shifting up because there's no rev counter in this car. There's no RPM gauge. It's just, it's just a speedo. The brakes are pretty good in this car, I must admit. I mean, there's not much to stop with this car, but you know, it's got some good pinch and they're floor mounted, so it feels good. Oh, a Lotus. Damn, that was sick, yo. So let's slow down for a second and talk about gas mileage because this car, First and foremost is a city car. It's meant to be parked in really tight spots. You know, be driven in traffic, all that good stuff. Freeways, it's not that great. I'll take it on it later. But as far as the MPG goes, it's, I've been driving this thing around for an hour and the gas hasn't moved at all. I've been flooring it. I've been putting this thing through its paces and it just hasn't budged. It's getting pretty good gas mileage. Now I forgot to mention about the storage space in this car because there is actually a good amount of space. Now, you just unlock it. First thing you do is uh, open up the top and then there's these little latches right here. And you open it up like that. 
As you can see, it fits the camera gear, tripod, backpack, some of this, whatever the heck that is. It's really not bad though. For a car like this, let's check out some other ones. In here, there are plenty of other storage spaces for water bottles, all that good stuff. Nicely fits a GoPro right there. And lastly, there's a nice little cubby over here for your phone. So a quick history lesson on the smart car. I remember when these things came out around the early 2000s and the only place you could find these things was in Europe. Like in cities like Florence, I remember seeing them all the time because there's no part. Shift, you stupid son of a bitch. Sorry, anyways, God, it's just interrupting me. I remember always finding these things in European cities just because you can't park anywhere, so you might as well just get one of these cars. And they eventually came over to the States about 10 years later, and everyone was like, oh my God, these things are so funny, we gotta buy them. But now, like, they're just totally commonplace. Now there's electric versions, now there's whatever. But as a kid, I just remember seeing these things and, like, thinking they were, like, so cool because I was the only one who saw them in Europe, and I was like, ah, oh, dude, I know what that car is. Like, I'm a total beast. Here I am now, driving one. And I don't feel like a total beast. <laughs> I feel like a chotch. All right, it's time to take this thing on the freeway, baby. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't really scared, but let's uh, see what it's like. All right, foot to the floor, baby, power test. My foot's to the floor. It's hard on the floor. Everything is so big around me, oh my God! <laughs> I can't go faster than like 50 miles an hour. This is insane. Oh my God. Drive this car on the freeway if you like getting passed up because I'm getting passed up by everybody. Look at that guy. Look at that jabroni. He's laughing at me. Oh my God. <laughs> if this was Mario Kart, I'd be in last place. I'd be getting lapped. That's what would be happening right now. Power! Car sounds like it's gonna explode. <laughs> it's going so oh, I'm going 60. It's starting to smell a little funny. Okay, I'm gonna just slow it back down to 50. 50 is its happy spot. It's honestly pretty terrifying. What else do you need to know about this car besides the fact that the transmission is total ass? Through the town, it's really nice. It's quiet. You know, it's just like people don't notice you. You can park wherever you want. Turning radius is phenomenal. Honestly, if I didn't care about driving at all, or if I had a really, really, really cool weekend car, then I would totally get one of these. Just like go to traffic in and like if parking was a problem for you, it wouldn't be in this thing. Well, what is the speedy verdict on the Smart for Two? Well, I have to say for its intended purpose, it does everything amazingly. Great gas mileage, you could pretty much park it anywhere and it doesn't really matter. For other things like driving on the freeway, like its transmission, are pretty, pretty terrible. But you can pick up one of these things for about three grand, which is basically nothing. That saves you a lot of time pulling your hair out trying to park downtown. Now, would I take it home with me? Well, seeing as it's the only car right now, I think I gotta take it home. But I think Speedy's gotta stick to some more uh, speedy cars, if you know what I mean. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this tune you're hearing, make sure to check out my buddy My Sicka's SoundCloud. Guys, he's a dope DJ, he's one of my good buddies from college, and he makes music from tons of different genres. He's super talented. Make sure to check him out. With that said, thanks guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. See you later.